Off I go to Walt Disney World. Oh my gosh, Memorial Day weekend. It's crowded at the airport already. Memorial Day weekend is not exactly the best weekend to travel. There's a lot of people here, but I'm early, so I should be okay. They took away that lizard here. I like that lizard. I don't know where he went. It's so good to be reunited with Mickey here. Oh my gosh, love it. Escalators are down, so we're trying to take the elevators to Magical Express now. Thanks, Tom. Oh. Appreciate it. Waves of Disney crashing upon me. I am here. B4777. 47. 47. Wait, where am I going? Feeling absolutely magical about to board Disney's Magical Express. Let's hit it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of construction all over. Thank goodness I put on sunscreen earlier or I would be burning up right now. How do I how do we get out of here? Hey Rafiki. Back at Animator's Palette. I would stop, but I'm gonna go right to the parks. Wait, 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 wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Oh my gosh. I can make this. I made it, I made it. Oh my gosh. Home <laughs> sweet home. First battery's going. Oh my gosh, so scary. Memorial Day weekend crowds. That's just about right. We're graduating class over there. The back of Space Mountain is definitely the most intense. Definitely the most intense. I don't really want to go to Mars. I'll stay right here. Thank you very much. 20,000 light years under the sea. One of the biggest mistakes I make is not hydrating enough at Disney, especially when it's hot. 35 minutes standby for Buzz Lightyear. That's actually not bad for Memorial Day Friday. That's a sign I expected to see. Hopefully it opens again before I'm sure it'll close for good at one point or another. I've been on the lookout for I Can, who's supposed to be in Tomorrowland, but I can't seem to find him. I think he comes out at different times. You just have to kind of be around and hopefully he comes around at the same time. <laughs> See, I don't really have a plan. I'm just kind of making up as I go for some parts of it. Just taking a quick break for a second in the Emporium. It's definitely a warmer day than I expected. Gotta stay hydrated. A lot of people, too. I have enough energy to stay, and I really do want to stay, but I know better. I've got to go to sleep early so I can get up super early for Pandora. It's going to be Pandora-filled day tomorrow, 100% Pandora day tomorrow. It's going to be fantastic. Wish I could draw like that. This is one of those moments where I really wish I brought my resort refilled mug with me so I could fill it up before I go back to my room. I'm still thinking about going to my room and then coming back again because I really would love some tea to go to sleep with. Even though I'm tired from walking around all day, having no backpack makes a huge, a huge difference. Not completely alone, but uh, five in the morning, not too many people. I've actually never taken an Uber at Disney before. I've always just relied on Disney transportation. So this is the first time for me using an Uber at Disney. Off to Pandora. All right, let's order that Uber. Oh, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. I have not been in Animal Kingdom this early in the morning before. First time ever, me going to Pandora. I'm gonna catch it on this camera. Go Michael, go! Go Michael! Hey guys, how are you? Good morning. Thank you, walking, I'm walking. It's hard to walk though. Hi guys. Everybody's trying to get into Pandora. First thing, opening day. 6.51 and there's definitely some movement up there. There you go. Okay, just follow the camera, there you go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying. I'm trying. I want to stop and look, but I can't. I have to go to the Banshee ride because it's going to be like five hour rate today. This place is amazing. We're trying to get in here. Definitely close quarters. Okay, we made it. That was intense. That was really intense. I'm vlogging and taking pictures at the same time. Multitasking. Just look at that skull behind me. Wow. Okay, we're still going here. It's so, it's so, wow, there's like, there's like moving goop right there. It's like that creature's alive in there. I'm standing here on lucky number 13, and it's filled on the, on the thing that's so cool. Oh my gosh, it was, it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. I loved every single second of it. I recommend it to everyone and anyone. Oh my gosh. I still can't get over it. I still can't get over it. It's unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I'll be getting the merchandise later. That line for Wind Traders is very long. But look at this. Wow. Look above me here. Look at this. The line goes all the way back here. End of the line, Navi River Journey. Here we go. Take a look at that. I mean, the attention to detail here, uh, all around, <laughs> unbelievable. Look above us here. I mean, everything, every little detail has been accounted for. Headed on into the Navi River Journey, can't wait. One thing I really appreciate in Pandora, look at those water fountains right there for you to fill up your mug and to drink from. We're in a cavern or something waiting to go into the Navi River Journey here. I think this is where you get on the boat. Wow.
just look at this. Look at look at this. Look around me. I mean, it's larger than life, and you're walking underneath it. It's amazing. I just heard from my friend that Pandora apparently has filled a capacity, and they're not letting anyone else into Pandora. Apparently, in other parts of Animal Kingdom, it's still okay. So I am not leaving Pandora. Like, no. Wind Traders is all the way back there, and this is the line for Wind Traders. A lot of people, I think, want those magic bands. The lines are so intense, the cast members actually have to hold us back because the lines go all the way around. It's it's amazing how opening day is going. Here are the items at Wind Traders. I'm gonna try and get a few things here to give away to my friends when I get home. Three and a half hour wait time at 8.30 in the morning, opening day for Pandora. Definitely a popular attraction. Still standing in line here at Wind Traders, seeing a lot of delicious looking drinks and really cool snacks. That drink looks really cool. I want one of those drinks. I want one. Look at the Banshees, there's Banshees all over. Over. It's Banshee time! I just bought a lot of things here at Wind Traders inside Pandora World of Avatar, but it's thanks to my wonderful friends for sending me those birthday gift cards. I got a lot of great things. A lot of them are going to be giveaways. In an upcoming giveaway, can't wait to do it, but I have all of my wonderful friends to thank for the unbelievable generosity of those gift cards. It means so much. I used most of them. Thank you again. All right, we're going in for a Banshee to choose us. Going through Banshee training by carrying my Banshee. I promise. I promise. To protect and Thank you very much. And now, Pegasus, truly mine. How are you feeling, Pegasus? I'm glad to hear it. Here's the mobile order spot. You need to see it? Is it, no, is it say ready for pickup? Yes. We are inside Satu Rally Canteen waiting for a mobile order. You can see on the far left hand side of the camera where they have the mobile order spots. On the right hand side is where all the other people are ordering. So this seems pretty easy. I just have to wait until I'm called. Wait for someone to be free to take my order. Did you want some? Not for you, it's for me. What are you doing there, Pegasus? What are you, what are you doing? You want the camera all to yourself? Is that what you want? Okay, I can be on camera. Now I know some folks had questions about if you can fit into the ride chairs. Here's the chair here, they're demonstrating it, where the brace comes up behind you and behind your knees to kind of give you that sensation of flying on the back of a banshee. And so here, here it is out here in front, so you can try right in front of the entrance of the ride. Now as you may have guessed, some of the lines here for some of the rides in Pandora can be extremely long. Yeah, I know Pegasus, we're not standing in those, don't worry, calm down. But they go on and on. This is the Navi River journey, and it is unbelievably long. I mean, I, I last time I saw it was 250 minute wait, and I don't think anyone here is surprised, are we, Pegasus? Yeah, me neither. I, I kind of want to go again and then use my photo pass. No, that's not right. Now my fast pass is at 5:30. I'm really tempted to leave Pandora to go to like Expedition Everest or Kilimanjaro Safaris, but I don't think I will, just because I don't want to risk being trapped outside of Pandora and not being able to get back in. Now, Pandora is not a whole day experience. Even though I'm spending the entire day in Pandora, doesn't mean that it's a whole day experience, just means that I don't want to be trapped outside when the whole thing turns into a bioluminescent nighttime spectacular. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna do my fast passes for Flight of Passage on the Banshee in about an hour from now. So about an hour from now, I'll be able to do that. Until then, I'm just kind of wandering around, taking more pictures, enjoying myself. I'm just taking taking a break today. Today's kind of a break day, just relaxing, enjoying myself. I'm just being sure, feeling good. Managers have told me it's okay as long as I come back in the fast pass window, which starts in 30 minutes. Perfect time to get a coffee, grab some maps, and then head back in. Look at that. The line is still going. <laughs> It's still going, so there's a lot of people still trying to get into Pandora. I'm gonna grab some coffee for that continued Disney energy and be up all night here to experience the bioluminescent forest of Pandora. Thank you very much. Waiting till 5.30 strikes. But I'm ready to call it within the top five of all of Walt Disney World flights of passage. No question about it. Only a 160 minute wait. That really, to be honest with you, that's not that bad. I agree. Really, really beautiful place. We're just sitting back, relaxing for a while. Just enjoying some of Pandora here. Look at this. Beautiful. Pegasus, just look at that. Look at that sunset at Pandora. Amazing. Now you can also get face painted like an avatar here. Face painting spot right next to the Navi River Journey. You can see it's starting to get a little bit more crowded as people are looking forward to seeing the bioluminescent forest at night. I don't know if you can see it on there, but that plant right there already has some blue. A little bit of blue and like the buds right there. Oh my gosh, so cool. That is fantastic. Whole forest is changing right now. There you go, now you can see a little bit more of me and that bioluminescent floor. Look, just look at it. Look at that! Can't see much of me, you can see a little bit of Pegasus' wing right there. 
but uh, it is a totally different park at night. It's, it's unbelievable the difference that happens at night. Now I love being able to show you the magic on video here. It's a little bit dark for the video, so here are some of my favorite nighttime pictures at Pandora. Inside the forest, the ground is bioluminescent, and the trees and the plants, they're all glowing blue and purple. Unbelievable. Now I'm having an absolutely magical time here in Pandora World of Avatar. Late at night, it's 11 p.m. I've taken some amazing photos, and I'd like to stay longer. Get some more long exposure pictures, but I can't. I'm just exhausted beyond reason. If I don't go back now, I'm not sure I'll even make it. So I'm gonna head on back to my room, get some sleep. It was a truly, truly inspiring day. I mean, an awe-inspiring day. Truly fantastic. Loved every minute of it. I can't even stay here for the for the tree projection show. I can't. I'm just too tired. I'm just gonna collapse in bed. I'm just gonna collapse. That's a real yawn. That's a Michael went to sleep at 12 and woke up at 4:15. Yawn. You, you have to do the vlogging and the talking. You know, you're able to handle that, huh? Now you're just gonna keep me awake. I see how it is. Okay, got it. It's he who's tired, not me. I'm, I'm not tired. Pegasus is tired. Definitely one of the best reasons for staying at a room close to the main building is that when you're tired at night, you don't have to walk another distance because every step feels like a mile when you've only gotten four hours of sleep. I don't know if you noticed, but I think my vlogs get like less steady as the day progresses because I get tired. I mean, all my trips go fast, but this one's like, it's the second day over already? Like, that's that's how it feels. Like, I know I'm not alone there. Have a magical day. <sighs> you glad to be joining me for the whole duration of the trip? I'm glad to hear that. I'm surprisingly not tired. How about you, Pegasus? Not really, yeah, I'm not that tired. It must be that Disney energy getting to me, I swear, it's amazing. Facebook jail for some reason, I don't know. I've lost track of how many times I've been in Facebook jail. I'm having a great time though, so I love being able to vlog here with you. I'll share on YouTube Live at Epcot today. It is so good to be home. <laughs> that doesn't count, that's from Pandora, it doesn't count. Hot and cold, they're both so intense. Pull your team together, That's great. People are asking to put, uh, Pegasus on their shoulder or their wrist and take a picture with them. They think I'm a photopass photographer. It's great. You can see the reactions, people looking. It's, it's so funny. I don't even want to know how long that wait time is for Soren. It's, uh, it's one of the more crowded days at Disney. That's a lot of people today. I don't like Beverly, but I'm going to drink it for my friends. Okay. All right, Pegasus. I know. It's Beverly time. Lie on the back. Well, that and she, I know it's Memorial Day weekend, and I know there's probably going to be a wait to get back into Epcot, but I, I really did want this break at the resort, so I'm glad I came. It looks like I'm coming at the right time. There's maybe the, oh, the monorail's right there. Maybe I can get on board. Oh, yes, he says I can. There we go. Back to Epcot I go. You know what wasn't open last time I was here was the Festival Center, so that's where I'm going to go right now. All right, Pegasus, time to meet Mickey Mouse. I thought I was the only one who knew about this cool down area, but there are a lot of people here. Great. Uh, they've completely redone this side of Mitsukoshi in Japan, so all the walls are colorful, the ceiling's got color to it now, so there's a lot of changes that are happening here. Now Pegasus and I are just taking a quick break real fast, but I wanted to talk to you about something that I thought was really important to me. I, know I find myself so frequently on my phone, you know, I love vlogging, but on my phone here, and it's just, it, you're so attached to it, you miss out on some of the magic. And this is like almost a personal note for me. I have to disconnect from my phone more. You know, I, I like to post on Instagram, Facebook, and all these things, but maybe it'll be like less frequently or more like intense spurts, like four posts and then like a break for a couple hours and more posts, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm trying to think about next time and how I want to continue to improve how I interact with all of my friends and also get a chance to experience all the wonderful magic that's here at Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at the banana. Right. Plants, so cool. as the I'm definitely going to have to sign up for the behind the scenes walking tour one of these days. I'm going to have to try Garden Grill again soon. Look, there's Chip and Dale right back there meeting guests. I've been wanting to try it. I haven't tried it in a few years. It's been many years they've done changes, so I definitely want to give it another try really soon. I know I'm sunburned. i got to stay away from the sun because I don't... I wanna, I'm going to bring my little container of sunscreen with me from now on, but until then I'm getting really burned. <laughs> You gotta avoid the sun at like all costs. You gotta like run. Run through the sunny areas, run. It says single rider 30 minute wait. That cannot be accurate. Now we did some shopping and now I'm braving the sun. Oh my gosh, I know, don't remind me. We're headed out into the sun, I'm gonna get burned. I gotta go quickly here. Need more sunscreen, need more sunscreen. Headed over to see Nemo. I think uh, Pegasus is hungry. That was so worth the wait. Did you see their intro? Oh my, <laughs> sadness. <laughs> he's saying bye to, he's waving to you. He's waving to you, look. 
Yeah. He's waving. Bye, sadness. Bye. Oh, that's what I loved it. Pegasus, what do you think about meeting joy and sadness? Wasn't that awesome? That was so cool. Disney is more magical when you're off your phone and just walking around having a good time. This camera is not included with that. This camera is not connected to the internet. So I'm just showing you where I'm going. But with my phone out of my hand, I've kind of been testing this for a little while now, for a few hours at Epcot here. And the difference is so apparent. It's so apparent because I'm not distracted by my phone anymore. Just stepping out of Spaceship Earth now, and it's nice. The sun has set. I'm not going to get burned anymore today, and I've learned my lesson. I'm going to be carrying my sunscreen with me everywhere. Every day, I'll be carrying sunscreen at Disney. Open Sesame. Now, there's a note about Pegasus and all his cousins here. The magnets area underneath can kind of hit the bone at the wrong angle. So what I'm planning on doing is using Katie's moleskin that she sent me before my trip, so thoughtful of her, and use it underneath that magnet. It was an idea of another friend of mine. It was just so smart, and I will be doing it so it doesn't uh, hit the wrong part of my bone or my collarbone as I'm walking around. But I'll remember that for tomorrow. Hi, Becca. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. For thousands and thousands of years before us, to share the light and to share a story. Okay, so I'm kind of loaded down here. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I've got a big package of giveaway items right there. I've got a huge box in my hand here. I had to get a duffel bag shipped to me because I have so many things to send back. I have to go with two bags and I didn't follow my own rule. Follow my rule here, follow this rule. Crack an empty duffel bag for stuff. You never know what kind of fun, great gifts you're gonna get at Disney, like, you know, banshees and pins and buttons and magic bands. Make sure you have an extra duffel bag because mine is totally full and I had to get another one from Amazon. Luckily, they could ship it right to the resort, so that's super helpful. A lot of people are starting to confirm the Disney Uber rumor, like a lot of cast members, not, not you know, they're not confirming, they didn't say anything, they're just like hinting, like this, this is sounding, uh, this is sounding uh, pretty likely now, so I have a good, strong feeling like Disney Uber is a real thing and it's going to be coming soon. A couple of our favorite adventurers have stopped by amidst their travels to see you on your way as you start your day. That sounds fantastic. I gotta get that smolder better, it wasn't very good. That's pretty high up there. Is it supposed to be tipping like that? Uh. Okay, we're doing pictures first. I don't know if you can hear my heart beating here as we're about to go into this balloon right here. I'm a little nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That, that's a little bit tougher for me. That's a little bit tougher for me, but it is absolutely beautiful up here. I, I can look like out. I'm looking out. I'm not looking down. I can look like I can look like it out here. Look at this. Just look all around me here. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. It's crowded, but I'll take the AC any day. Definitely did not expect a line like this for Disney Quest. So many great games, so many great memories with my family. I don't know what to play next. Ah. Ah. He's friendly, he's friendly. He's watching. We're going to have a push-up. Push-up contest. Let's go right now. There you go. That's my gentleman. Right there. There you go. My master said, squirrel! Oh, my master's leaving. just took a look at the Disney app and I saw that Olaf only has a 15 minute wait, so that's where I'm headed. I just bought two more high capacity batteries for this camera because I'm already running out of power because of these longer vlogs, but I love doing them. They're a lot of fun to be able to bring the magic to you. It's a bunch of teeth, but it's just for eating flies, not, not droids. I promise, I promise. Get my word. Yeah, What am I gonna have? Let's do the open-faced bacon and egg sandwich. You know what I'm realizing about not really using my phone as much and using my camera more is I have more time to actually talk to you, like real, real talk, real talk, Michael, real talk time. Sam, uh -huh. the delegates are discussing the question of America's independence from England. Order! I'll take two hot dogs with extra mayo. A banana sounds appealing. So now I'm just trying to post some photos for my friends to see what I'm up to at Magic Kingdom today. Jail. We're gonna wrap in, Sarah. 
Time for Space Mountain using my fast pass with only 15 minutes to spare. Let's do it. That's a great thing about being a Disney enthusiast. When it gets crowded like this, I can kind of get away in my little coves that I know are far less crowded. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Got caught on these, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I did. Oh. It's the end of my trip here, and it's, it's just a magical way to end it. I just had a great long conversation with Richard and the manager of the Grand Floridian. We talked a little bit about the Banshee and Pandora, and the video, and all these great things. I mean, just so many wonderful people in a wonderful place. I mean, so many smiles. It's, 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 it is really about those smiles. He's actually doing a really good job holding that fast pass. I'm kind of surprised. Pegasus and I are both panicking because we're trying to find a ride. I think we're going to go on Ariel's Undersea Adventure. Use our uh, fast pass that Pegasus is holding onto for me. It's almost as if I'm in a race to get back to the resort in time to catch the Inspirational Express. I don't think I've ever cut it this close before. Okay, Magic Kingdom, I'll see you real soon. Power walking my way back to Art of Animation, but at the same time, appreciating just this, just this. My carry-on is still too heavy. Even as a carry-on, I need to reduce that as well, so a lot of changes coming for the future. Audra. Audra, Audra. I love him. This is Audra. Hi, Hi Audra. You having a good time? Yeah. You have a magical trip? Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Isn't he cool? It is cool. Part of me really does feel bad that I, I can't share this, uh, these moments right now live with my friends on Facebook, but I am able to share lots of it on Instagram, and being able to be more interactive with you here in the vlogs, and have more of this time together to make the longer vlogs, and have more of these real talks, it, there is something great about that. Bye, Mickey. Okay, the time is now 6.25, just enjoying the view of this fountain and the uh, airport behind me. I just keep looking at Mickey over there, but I'll be back in 31 days, and my flight takes off in two hours. The boarding process has begun. Off I go. Welcome to Baltimore, Washington International Airport. I was even talking to a few passengers on the plane about how I have 31 days until my next trip, so it's, uh, it, it, I'm very fortunate. I'm very fortunate to be able to do that, and I'm, I consider myself very lucky to be able to do that, but I'm glad I have the opportunity to share it with you. Weather's not bad at all, and my shirt reminds me that I'll be going back real soon.